Hey everybody, Ann here. I've got the curtains drawn because it's already heating up. I've already done my morning stuff. Um, before it got too hot, I made a new chicken brooder because the other one, it was very clear the chicks are like totally stepping all over each other. Um, so I had to make it bigger, so I've done that. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so I got some water in the tote, so we're going to go out and look at it and see if that little spigot thing is, is leaking. All right, it stopped raining and the sun has come out. And I've got, I was able to capture, maybe hard to see, about 25 gallons right there. And guess what? Not a single drop of water coming out. And that is just with the spigot screwed into that with no connecting tape there is absolutely zero leakage yeah so i think i'm going to recommend this here little uh thing from bevelu <laughs> i look terrible i don't care i'm staying cool i got the air conditioner running and right now it is running on solar and it has been going for a little over an hour and 10 minutes um and it's holding up it hasn't dropped to two 12.3 yet and that's when I'm going to shut it off um, so any amount of sunlight that can run this air conditioner so I don't have to use propane because uh, the tank is already half empty out there and propane is expensive and I just can't afford to buy a bunch of propane so um, but it's got it cooled down in here and Papa's more comfortable um, so here let me show you what I did with the baby chicks brought this in and I put it I kind of constructed a little cardboard tray and then I just uh, attached another big cardboard box with pink duct tape and it's on this side of the tiny house now um, and they've got a lot more room down in there oh, I need to get them some more feed I did bring this in uh, the little box is back there but they've got about twice as much room I don't even eat, have the heat mat on because I just pull this blanket over the top of it and it stays pretty warm um, but they're doing great. They are growing so fast. And yep, uh, Zuma Zoom, where is she? She's over there. She's still, still doing her, oh, there she is, right there. She's still zooming around. Hopefully it's, just, it's a she. I would love to get some eggs out of that one. Uh, anyhow, um, yeah, so this is what I did. Just, uh, pulled it together and it's working just fine. Gives them more room. And so they're not going to be pecking each other to death. And even so, this is not going to last very long. But the next two weeks are going to be high 90s out here. The heat index is going to be about 108 degrees. So it's going to feel like it's 108 degrees out there. So most of the time I won't even have to use their heat mat. Maybe at nighttime when they're sleeping. Um, but during the day, I'll just keep this covered up. And I think they'll be just fine. Even though I've got the uh, air conditioner running. So, oh, goodness gracious, they are just growing so fast. And there was something going on in the frog pond, so let's take a look at that. Look, okay, an actual frog is down in there. I don't know, maybe it knows it's going to rain and that it might be time to do some mating. The chickens are going to scare it away. That's a big frog. So that is probably what they're going to look like. All we need is a, is a male. That may be a male, I don't know. Look it. Oh, I'm so happy to see a big frog in here. Kind of get an idea of what these frogs are going to look like. Very awesome. <laughs> Chickens, don't be mean to this little frog. Just let him be. I think he'll be all right. Or she. Speaking of frogs, Megan and her kids have this little, well, I mean, it's not little anymore, but his name is Hamilton, and he is an African dwarf frog. So I asked her to send me a picture because I want to see what it looks like. Isn't it cute? His name is Hamilton. I was out walking around my property, and um, the neighbor kids are like, Miss Ann, Miss Ann, I found a mushroom. So they're showing me all different kinds of mushrooms. I didn't have my phone with me for all of them, but 
here's some gigantic ones that they found. Uh, they are just so proud of themselves. They did find me a Caesar mushroom too, but I didn't pull it because there was only one and I wanted to maybe spread its spores so we can get more. Anyhow, this is this is the ones that they found. See here. Oh, they are they're pretty cool. I'm gonna do you mind if I pull them up? Yep, no. It's on your property. Ooh. And you're gonna look at the underside. These might be a bicolor. Uh, by uh, I don't know they stain brown and that's usually not a good sign for edibility look at that yep they turn they turn brown I'm gonna take them though and I'm gonna see if I can figure out what they are they are so cool looking though aren't they? they got a reddish color on them too yep they got yellow cracks yep they cool yep I'm trying to lean into the window so you can see me. <laughs> the lighting is really bad. Anyhow, uh, after the rain, mushrooms crop up all over the place. So I found these mushrooms growing in my oregano. I have no idea what it is and I'm sorry for the bad lighting but it's hot and uh, my solar is down to 12.2 so I need to flip it off and go flip on the generator and uh, keep it cool in here with the generator at least for a few hours. Anyhow, um, sorry for the hodgepodge video today but uh, there's not a lot else going on. Just trying to stay cool, trying to keep the rabbits cool, trying to keep Papa cool, the chickens are okay. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.